Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about cover crops with me, Miss Dana, in Juneau County Farm to School. What? Crops on top of crops? Why? Why cover crops? Because they are like a blanket or a tent protecting the soil from wind and erosion and keeping it nice and warm and in place. That's the real reason behind cover crops. And a cover crop, because the soil has so many layers, like a delicious cake, maybe tastes a little different. Um, there are so many layers, we want to keep them in place. So we plant cover crops. Um, in the off season to help take care of the soil so the roots can go into the soil and make it as healthy as we possibly can. So like I said, this is another picture of the layers of your soil. just so you get an idea. This is a great picture of the healthy soil that we're trying to cultivate, right? And so we need to take care of it and replace nutrients. And planting something in the off season gives back to our soil that is helping us produce food to feed people. So we also want to take care of it as well. What are some more reasons why we take care of it and soil do cover crops? One reason is runoff. If the soil is in place, it helps the water drain into the soil better because we're giving back and putting air back into the soil. And so there's less water runoff that's leaking into our water systems and carrying chemicals and things to other places. Also, there is less of a need to spray um, for weeds and things because a lot of the cover crops suppress weeds. So many benefits to planting cover crops within our fields. And another reason is it helps increase our harvest yield as well. So close to home, here in Juneau County, there are amazing people that are planting um, cover crops at the same time and in between their crops in the field as well as planting cover crops in the off season to have all of the benefits that we mentioned earlier and studying the way it impacts our water systems and impacts the quality of water in our area and um, the way the water flows and how um, cover crops can kind of impact those type of things. There's a lot more to dig deep into it, but this is just surface level. If you want more information, I found out a lot of this from many local people in our area, including these listed. Mr. Al Voss from Voss Family Farm, Dustin Ladd, John Field, and 
<coughs> Elena Voss as well from UW Extension. So there's a lot of local people to learn from. Thank you for watching and following along.